All right, guys, here we are at the homepage of FCEUX. And if you look down here, the latest release was on January 2nd, 2021, version 2.3.0. Let's go ahead and click on download. And then we want to go to FCEUX 2.30 Win32. Click on that. You're going to get a little countdown timer, and then your download should start. Once the download is complete, let's come up to the top right, click on the three little dots, select downloads, show in folder. We can exit out of the browser and let's drag the zip file to the desktop. Exit out. Now we need to extract the file, but first let's create a new folder. So right click, new folder, and we're gonna call it FCEUX. Now the reason I created this new folder is because once we extract the zip file, it's gonna create multiple files. So instead of having them all over the desktop, we can keep them in one place. So let's move the zip file into this new folder. Open the folder. Now we can extract it here. I use 7-Zip to extract my files. If you guys need to download 7-Zip, there will be a link in the description below. Once you have it downloaded, all you need to do is right click, go to 7-Zip, extract here. And there we go. This file right here, this is the emulator. Let's open it. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our controller. Let's go up to config, input. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller and this emulator will detect that Xbox One controller as well as a USB controller. All you wanna do is go to port one and click on configure. Now to map your buttons out, you just click on what button you're ready to emulate. We're gonna do up. And then you just hit whatever button on your controller you want to be up, left, whatever button you want to be left, and so on. You do the same thing for down, right, select, start, A, B, and if you want turbo A and turbo B, set those up as well. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and close. And if you have a second controller connected to your PC, you want to do the same thing for port two. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on close. Now let's load up a game. Let's go up to file, open, select wherever your NES games are. I'm gonna load up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 and then select open and your game should start. Now, if you guys would like to go full screen, all you wanna do is hold alt and enter. And you'll go full screen. If you would like to return to the small screen, hold alt and enter. Now let's go into our graphic settings. Let's go up to config, video. Now you already know that if you wanna go into full screen after a game has been launched, then you wanna press alt and enter. But if you want the emulator to do this for you, then you wanna check this box right here. Enter full screen mode after game is loaded. Over here we have aspect ratio, and by default, best fit will be checked. And what this does is that when you're in full screen, you will have bars on the side because this is the best aspect ratio for the game. But if you would like to stretch your screen, now it will take away some of the quality. You want to uncheck best fit and you'll go into widescreen. Now, if you prefer to play in windowed mode and you want to change the size of this window, then you want to come to size multiplier and you want to change the size of X and Y. So for example, let's make this a little bigger. I'm going to change my X and Y to two and close. And you see it increased the size of the window. Now, if you wanna play with the graphics in the game, you wanna to come to special filter, select the drop down arrow and play with these settings. Now I won't say these graphic settings make the game look better. If anything, it may make the game look lighter or darker, in some cases blurrier, making the game look actually worse. So I prefer to play as none, leaving the graphics at the original resolution. Now the last thing you guys need to check is the mode. This should be set to your monitor's resolution. In my case, my monitor is a 1080p. So if you have a 1440p or a 4K monitor, that resolution should be shown here. If it's not, you need to change it to get the best resolution. Go ahead and close.